Now, planning is often poorly considered. Find out what we should be doing in today's episode. Welcome back to year six of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which we release every Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie, Tokyo franchise owner, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training, and three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaegyo is the translation of Japan Sales Mastery, my latest book is Stop Wasting Money on Training, and the Japanese translation is Training de Okane o Mudni Suno wa Yamimasho. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center in Akasaka in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? We are here to win in business in Japan. Let's all be at the forefront, at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. This is episode number 279, Anticipate Issues as a Leader. So let's get going. Wayne Gretzky is famous for the ice hockey quote, skate to where the puck is going to be, about anticipating where and when the critical actions have to be taken, rather than just following what is already happening. This metaphor applies even more in business because the complexities are much higher, the team is usually a lot bigger, and the ramifications much larger. In reality, though, we often find ourselves following rather than leading. We are frequently looking at numbers which are historical indicators, not forward guides to what is coming. The ebb and flow of the day also sucks up all of our time. We're dealing with people issues, and these are inspired by something that has already happened and can't easily be undone, or was missed and didn't happen. Again, we're all historians poking over the bones of the event to try and create a narrative to explain what has happened, so that we won't see a repeat of a failure. The puck location idea here is to get ahead of that daily grind and look forward. We know we should do this, but the amount of actual forward planning we do is often limited to working up the annual plan. Daily changes make that plan irrelevant pretty quickly. As the famous philosopher Iron Mike Tyson said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. We're getting punched in the mouth every day and are usually bogged down in reaction rather than spending any high value time in anticipation. Ask yourself this question. How much time do I spend on a daily basis predicting rather than reacting? Some numbers can be made available that allow us to track trends and give some insight into where the numbers may finally fall out. The run rate on revenues can tell us whether we're on track to reach an annual goal. The monthly accumulative revenues are one indicator, but run rate can show us we're in trouble it tells us we have to take some action now to influence the final numbers rather than crawling to the finish line exhausted and find we've come up short. Companies who are adding people and growing rapidly are often consumed by absorbing the new people but give no thought to the future culture construct of the organisation. When I was working at the Shinsei Retail Bank, we were rapidly hiring mid-career staff to sell our financial products to the very wealthy. At one point, the new hires became the majority. That instantly meant we had lost control of the culture of the organization because there was now no single dominant culture. We had to scramble to create a one Shinsei culture, but we hadn't spent any time predicting that would happen. Consequently, we now had to go into catch-up mode Find out more when we come back from the break. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the Leadership Training for Managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. 
Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. The vision, mission and values of the organization are the glue. Rapid expansion can unglue the compact between the team and the leadership. Skating to where the park is going to be means anticipating the outcome of the changes we are currently executing. This sounds simple, but most of our days are spent belting crocodiles with the oar and trying to keep things afloat. Somewhere in our day, we need to be tracking the future. It could be revenues, supply capacity, clients who've missed a payment, or whatever. These are rather mechanical. The tricky part is tracking what is happening with the people. For example, the predictive work needed to understand how we can retain our people isn't being done yet. In a declining population demographic, that is suicide. We see companies around us unable to source enough staff. But we never anticipate that is going to be us in the very near future. For those anticipating growth, that means thinking now about how many new leaders will be needed and who they might be. Next, how can we prepare them to succeed? Often, we put them straight into the leader job with no training. They fail, so we have to replace them. We repeat this process forever. Giving training early is much better than coming up with a solution too late. Once they've burnt their bridges with their team, it is very hard to roll that back. Where is your puck going to be and are you ready? Action steps. One, review what metrics are available to help us with our predictive needs. Two, if you're adding people, anticipate the possible impact on the organization's culture. Number three, calculate how many new leaders will be needed, identify the candidates, and give the final selection the training they need before we give them the responsibilities of being the leader. Number four, allocate time for predicting rather than just spending every day reacting. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and so please subscribe to it on YouTube. Share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now. dale-carnegie.co.jp It's awesome value, so check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we're releasing content six days a week. By the way, how many companies, let alone training companies in Japan, are doing that, do you suppose? Answer, just one. Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training. Now, for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentation Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business Touches in the Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews, wherever you get your podcasts. For TV shows, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Terebi Show. Every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And every Saturday, Japan's top business interviews on YouTube.
We appreciate your support and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people and please join us in that endeavour. Our training mantra is we are 100% committed to using our soft skills training to transform your career and business. Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training are in your corner here in Nippon. In episode 280, we are talking about crucial presentations. So, yoroshiku, onegai tashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. We've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.